Hi, um, I had a lot of people ask if I could do a tutorial on the paper bag mini album that I made for a swap. Um, and so what you would need is paper bags and the paper bags I use are, are these cheap bags that you get from um, Walmart, 100 count. And what I did is I kind of prepared some of them already just for to keep this video as short as possible um, but I will do a couple of things um, on camera for y'all so the first thing I did was I glued down this piece of the paper bag mini album and I just use a glue gun because it's quicker and then I just get my bone folder and I just rub it out. Kind of straighten out the paper bag also. And then I went ahead and I put my, um, my tape on. Because of this you'll fold up to make a pocket. So I just add my tape and I'm just using score tape. I find this tape is very, very strong and it holds very well. Don't have to worry about your mini albums coming apart later in a couple years or so. Okay, so now that's down, I just like to go over with my bone folder. It makes it a little bit easier to peel up, and so I just kind of go over all of them. And so now, what you're going to do is I just get my Tim Holtz paper piercer and really I just bought this so that I can pick up my I can get my tape out so now I just kind of put it down so there you have your pocket and then what we will do is adjust this and then what we're gonna do is we're going to hot glue this inside part but what I like to do first is I like to go ahead and just put up make my pockets and then the next thing I'll do is glue the side Alright, and now that I have all my pockets set down where I want them, I just run my bolt holder on it just to make sure that it's adhered well. So, so what you want to do now is we're going to glue the sides but first you you have to decide on how you want your flaps to go and my flaps here that I made they're cut to seven by five and a half and you're gonna score on the five eighth inch and so what I like to do is I cut it I score it and then I miter the edges and then I decide whether I want my flap to be to open from this side so I decide on whether I want my flat to open 
on this side. Or if I want it to open on this side. And it really all just depends on your preference. So before we start cutting this, um, I would like to say that I do cut this off because I don't like how the edge is how you can see it's a little rough so what I do is I get my my paper trimmer and I cut up to just the edge of this little you see the circle the half circle it has right here I cut just to the very end so that it's all just straight so and I just really eyeball it Sorry, my trimmer is going out. Um, so you're just going to continue to cut the edge. When it comes down to it, you're really just kind of cutting it um, at about seven inches. You just want that the rough side of that edge to be able um, to cut off. Okay, so now that you have all of it. Let me just, one of my papers tore, so I'm going to Put this at seven, that's about where that half circle is. Okay, there we go. Now, our next step is to cut our flats, which, let just throw this trash away. So what I do is I get a eight and a half by 11 sheet and I cut it in half, so it's five and a half by eight and a half. So then I have my half sheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the long side, so the eight and a half side. Um, yeah, so the eight and a half side, you're going to cut at seven. And what I like to do is I like to just move it down just a little bit, so slightly, slightly smaller than seven. Um, just so that you don't have to worry about it overhanging um, on your paper bag. So slightly smaller for so seven and then I just kind of move it not really um, an eighth of an inch like or um, not even um, a sixteenth of an inch I mean it's, it's small so now you have a five and a half by seven sheet of paper now what you're going to do is you want to get your scoreboard out and you're going to score it at five eighths of an inch. And I scored at five eighths of an inch because that way my half inch can cover it up completely. So, 
now that I have my 5 eighths of an inch, what I'm going to do is I get my bone folder and I just kind of help me crease this down. So now I'm going to miter my edges. And because prior to this I don't know what side I'm going to use, I miter them. But most of the time what I do is I choose what way I want it to go and then I just miter the top. Um, or I miter the bottom so that it fits well into this little, like if you look here, it's at an angle. So if you miter, miter this, it fits in perfectly. But I cut off the edge so that way like I don't have to worry about seeing, um, seeing the top up here when I put it on. When I put it in here and close it, you don't have to worry about seeing that bulk. So I went ahead, because I have six paper bags, I cut six um, flats. So I cut six flats. And now I just need to, now you just seen them score it. Now that it's scored, just fold it. And I fold it against the bubble. That way I don't have to worry about my um, paper ripping or cracking. Okay. So now that I have my flat folded, what I do now is I'm just going to decide where, what way I want my flap. So I'm going to put, um, some might have flaps, some might not have flaps. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a flap here because I like my front to not have a flap. So I got my first page and then I want my second page. So this is going to be kind of like it opens up like a little gatefold and you have like a place to uh, mat a picture and then you have a pocket for tags. Then, you kind of just go through deciding where each flap is going to go. So now what I'm going to do, now that I have my flaps decided, is I'm going to add them to my page. So we'll get my half inch, and I just add my square tape, I'm going to add it to each of the flaps. So I know that I want my first page to be a pocket, so I'm going to get my tape. And what I do is I just add it in, and before I really add it down, I make sure that it's lined up evenly. Now I have my first page. Um, so now I have my front pocket, my second page, and I want it to be a double flap. So So you add in, so you're going to add in this first part here, but then you're going to go in with hot glue and you're going to hot glue this, or you can put tape and you can score it down, but you'll see kind of like a little bit of bulk right here. Like you'll, you'll be able to open it. Um, so I like to glue it all the way down that way. Go. 
another edge tag here. Then you have your Never mind, go in. And then you're just going to continue to add your adhesive and your flaps. So now I have my first two pages. Now I have my third page. And then I get my fourth page. All my pockets are, my flaps are in. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add my hot glue. So you're going to add your hot glue on just one side so you're going to add your um, glue to the right side because the left side is what we're going to use to adhere our book to um, our binding so our pages we're going to add these to our binding um, so you don't want to hot glue the left side just the right side so Okay, so now we have our pages with our flaps. 
now we can move on to our um, to our binding. And the binding I like to do is stack the deck. So we know that the height of our book is seven inches. So that's what we're gonna cut the height of our paper. So what we're gonna get is an eight and a half by eleven sheet, and you're gonna cut it to slightly smaller than seven. So seven, seven, and move it down just a tad. There we go. Now you're going to get your scoreboard. And you're going to, oops. So you have the, the seven inch, so the eight half inch. Oh, it's right here, Dub. Okay, so you have your seven inch side is going to be um, up against your scoreboard. The long side is gonna be your 11 inch. So we're going to, on my book, I did a fourth of an inch gusset, and I realized that that was not enough room because I love to embellish with flowers. I use a watercolor craft flowers, so it was really bulky, and my book didn't really um, close right. I mean, it was kind of a little bit like lumpy lopsided. So I'm going to go ahead and do a half inch gusset. So what I do is, so five eighths of an inch, then you're going to go five eighths of an inch. Then you're gonna go half an inch. Then you're gonna go five eighths of an inch. You're gonna do another five eighths of an inch. Then you're gonna do half an inch. Then you're gonna do five eighths of an inch. another five eighths of an inch and then half inch and then you're gonna do five eighths of an inch five eighths of an inch half inch five eighths of an inch five five eighths of an inch and now I'm going to count to see where I'm at so you have um, your first gusset one two three four five so now we need one more so you do half an inch then you do five eighths of an inch and then five eighths of an inch so one two three four five five eighths of an inch and this right here is just your extra piece. So now I'm going to cut off this half inch right here because I don't need it. So this is just trash. And now you're going to, what I do is I add my score tape. So I'm going to add so you're gonna add it on the five eighths of an inch. So you add, and then you're gonna skip, and then you'll add your tape. So you want to make sure that it goes on at least one of the five eighths. So if you look, you see I have this five eighths and this five eighths are gonna go together, and that right here is my. Um, half an inch gusset. So then I'm gonna attach these two together which will make another hinge. I'm going to skip this half inch. I'm going to add tape. I'm gonna go to my half inch here. I'm gonna skip that, add more tape, move over my half inch. I'm gonna go here, add my tape which will create my next hinge. I'm just gonna keep on keep moving down just like that. So then five eighths of an inch, half inch, five eighths of an inch, and then I'm gonna add more tape, because that's where I, I need it. Five eighths of an inch, half inch, so I'm gonna add it to my next five eighths of an inch here. Five eighths of an inch, 
half inch, five eighths of a inch, and that is my last, that's gonna be my last hinge that I need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my tape is adhered. I'm going to pull it up. And I'm just going to fold over and then you have and then I'm gonna once again you're gonna fold over to make your second hinge and you're going to fold. this together, oops, I'm going to fold this piece together, folded my, my gusset instead of my 5 eighths of an inch, yeah. so this is um, Kathy Orta's stack, um, not stack the bag, but um, hidden hinge system, so I will add a link to her, um, a link to a tutorial that she has of how you do this. Um, she probably can describe it a lot better than I can. So, or you can use a hidden hinge system or whatever hinge system that works best for you. It doesn't have to be the stack or the hidden hinge. I usually do stack the deck, but I kind of like this one. It's a little bit easier. I don't have to calculate. my pieces for the hidden hinge so let me okay so one two three four five six so I have my six I have my six hinges now I'm just going to make sure that this is now I need to add my tape to my to my hinges so this is what's going to attach to my spine of my book so I'm not really shy with my tape just because I know that this needs to be very strong because it's going to be holding all my pages and I put a lot of embellishment. I add a lot of tags so I need this to be strong enough to hold everything. So this is more of a, it can add a half inch. So, there we go. So now I have my full hinge covered in tape. So there we go. Now what I like to do is add tape onto my hinges. Okay, now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to add on the other side of my hinge the remaining tape.
Okay. So now that I have my tape on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to miter the edges of just one side of my, so I'm going to just miter, this will go, when I put this onto my um, album, or I add my pages onto it, it's going to sit right in the this angle right here. So it'll fit perfectly in there. But I keep I'm gonna keep the top not I'm not gonna miter the top because it'll help with strength. Okay. So now that I have my Okay. Let me see where. Okay. So now I'm just going to add my pages in. So what I do is I just add one side and then so I add one side. Then I will go back later and take out the other side. Just a little bit faster that way. Continue adding my bags on or my pages. Now I just take off my last piece of tape and add the remaining. Now I can go in and add the tape to my back side of my pages. have your pages attached to your 
to your spine. Now, we can do our cover. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a part two of the video for the cover. Um, that way I can just keep this short. Um, so my next video will be a part two, making the actual cover and covering the chipboard with um, cardstock. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you join me for part two.